These types of questions appear um, very um, frequently on maths olympiads and stuff like that. Um, and this method that I'm going to explain in the next uh, five minutes allows you to solve them by inspection. So what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm sure no one will believe me, but I am going to solve these by inspection now. I haven't pre-worked them out. Okay, so the sum of r equals 1 to 20 of 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. And I'm solving this by inspection is that uh, and I'll explain why later on um, the sum between r equals 1 and 100 of 1 over r r plus 1 r plus 2 r plus 3 by inspection is a third times a sixth minus 1 over 101 times 102 times 103 and the sum between 1 and infinity of 1 over r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3 times r plus 4 is 1 96 again solved by inspection okay how did i do it okay let's have a look um now the formula i'll give you the formula for how to do it and then after that i'll explain uh, why the formula works okay so the formula for how to do it is basically that the sum between n and r equals one of one over r r plus one r plus two da, 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 to r plus p equals one over p times 1 over 1 times 2 times blah 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 to p minus 1 over n plus 1 n plus 2 da, 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 m plus p and that is the formula i'll prove it in a second but once you know that formula if we just go back to the first question here all we need to do is put p is in this case 2 so therefore it's a half times 1 over 1 times 2, which is a half. Take away 1 over n plus 1, n plus 2. Well, n in this case is 20, which will be 1 over 21 times 22. Using this formula for the second one, uh, p would this time be 3. So therefore it's a third times 1 over 1 times 2 times 3, which is a sixth. Take away and n is 100. So it'll be 1 over 101 times 102 times 103. And finding between r equals 1 and infinity, well, this term here clearly approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So as n approaches infinity, this formula that I've, uh, I've just written down becomes that, 1 over p times 1 over 1 over 2 times 3 times, 3 times 4 times p, whatever. And p here is 4, so infinity would just, this would basically be 1 over p, which is a quarter, times 1 over 1 times 2 times 3, which is 1 96th. OK, so you can solve them by inspection. OK, so how do we prove this? Now, in actual fact, it's quite simple. So um, let's have a look. If we look at 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, to, to r plus p minus 1, minus 1 over r plus 1, r plus 2, to, 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 r plus p, um, and we put it over the same denominator, which would be over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, da, 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 r plus p. Then we have to multiply this one here by r plus p, so that will be r plus p, minus, and we have to multiply this one here by r, which gives us r plus p minus r, which equals p over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, da, 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 r plus p. So when we sum this, it's the same thing as summing this. And the nice thing about this is that everything apart from the first and the last cancels out. So let's just try and sum this. So basically we want to sum uh, 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, da, 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 to r plus p between r equals 1 and n, for example. Um, when we know now that that's equal to 1 over p, 1 over, let's just have a look, uh, r, r plus 1, r plus 2, r plus p minus 1, minus 1 over r plus 1, r plus 2, da, 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 r plus p. And let's just put in these terms. So let's, um, let's put here r equals 1. Then when we're sub to the first term of this would be equal to 1 over p times the first term of this, which would be 1 over... Um, 1 times 2 times 3 times da, 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 r plus p minus 1. 
minus, and here would be 1 over 2 times 3 times da, 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 r plus p. That would be the first term, r equals 1. For r equals 2, it would be 1 over p times 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 times r plus p minus 1 over 3 times 4 times 5, blah, 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 r plus p plus 1. For r equals all the way up to n, by the time we get to r equals n, we get 1 over p, 1 over, um, where are we? When r equals n, uh, it's 1 over n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 da, 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 to n plus p uh, minus 1 over n plus 1, n plus 2, blah, 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 n plus p. Sorry, that one's n plus p minus 1. And then when we look at these, these all cancel out, leaving us just with this term and this term. So basically the sum, summing that all up, we get the sum between n and r equals 1, sorry, n of r equals 1 of 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, blah, 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 up to r plus uh, p, equals this first term, um, which is sort of 1 over p, times the first term, which is um, 1 over 1 times 2 times 3, da, 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 up to r plus p minus 1, minus that last term, which is 1 over n plus 1, n plus 2, blah, 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 up to n plus p, which is the formula that I told you up here, which is why I can solve these three by inspection. OK, well, I hope you find this useful in Maths Olympiads. Um, if you get a question like that, uh, if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.